Hello, equally awesome channel, and welcome to Fabulous Fridays with Gamo. Um, so I first off wanted to apologize to the other members of Equally Awesome. Um, haven't really been involved in the channel this week, and probably won't be for like the next two weeks. Um, I mean, I just watched all the videos today. Honestly, haven't had really that much time for anything. I've been um, getting ready. I have been filling out paperwork after paperwork for loans and getting ready for school and other stuff has been happening, looking for a new job. So um, for the next two weeks until I'm in school and settled, probably still going to be a little back and forth, but I'll make my videos, no doubt on that. Um, so, to jump right into the questions, my little love dumplings. See, I got it that time, and I'll say Crud Nuggets, too! Um, first off, um, Win Win, you asked, what do your Rice Krispies say to you? Now, my Rice Krispies speak in a really, really mousy, squeaky voice. And they tell me to mix them with marshmallows and peanut butter, and then melt chocolate all over the top. And lay in bed, eating them, while watching Hilary Duff movies. It's pretty disturbing. You know, effed up Rice Krispie treats. Good times. Um, next would be Mark. Um, first of all, I did make a little note to myself after I watched your video to um, tell you to stop blaming your drinking problems on other people on the Equally Awesome channel. Um, <laughs> but your question was, how stubborn are you? Um, as well as, have you been in a relationship with someone really stubborn? And so on and so forth, and are you attracted to stubborn people? And is that a good thing or a bad thing, being in a relationship with someone, and are you attracted to stubborn people? Um, first of all, I am probably one of the most ignorant, stubborn people you will ever meet when it comes to the way my head works versus the way your head works. In my opinion, mine is logically and yours is not. Um, honestly, I... I've never been in a relationship with anyone stubborn because I know it wouldn't work. I mean, I, my best friend was the most stubborn person in the world, and we would just... Like that. It was like constant constipation. Um, but yeah, no. No, I'm not attracted to stubborn people either because I am too stubborn. I just know it's it'd be just a constant... That's me butting heads and horns, in case you didn't catch that reference. Um, but yeah, no. No. Um, <laughs> I like I'm passive because I have issues with control. Um, <laughs> Sophia, that was the best thing ever. Um, the intensity of your search for the words of your Rice Krispies. <laughs> I was dying the entire time. You were sitting there so dead serious, so enthralled by your Rice Krispies and then your facial expression when you discovered what they said. <laughs> I died. Um, your question. What do you like to drink around the house and how do you prepare it? Um, where do you get it? So, um, I have two favorites. Um, one would be this. It can be bought at any convenience store. It's the best water ever. Um, my second... I buy at the little Hispanic liquor store down the street. And it is this. This is saved for a bad day. Glenvidich 12 year. The way you prepare it is you take a little rocks glass and you put an ice cube in there. I had to put two little ice cubes in there because we only had two little bitty ones left because I make ice out of bottled water because they don't drink tap water so why put ice that's made out of tap water that, that's, that's then going to melt because I don't like drinking my own feces um, and mixing it in because then you end up drinking tap water. You mix it in and you swirl it around. Mm. It cures your ills. Don't add too big of an ice cube though because then it gets watered down and it loses that zing. Love scotch. Okay. Um... Bob, this kind of would be a tricky one for me because of the like the whole statement I, I was making before is honestly, in my opinion, it's it's just words. So I'd probably say something sarcastic to try to like combat the negativity they were putting on it. Like if I walked in somewhere and there were two people going, "Oh, that's so gay, that's so gay," I'd walk up and be like, "What?" 
And they'd say this, and I'd be like, yeah, it is awesome, isn't it? And they'd be like, what? And I'd be like, yeah, you said it's gay. That means awesome, right? That's what I thought it meant. And do something sarcastic like that. Um, yeah. Um, and then Megan, um, what song do you always love? I answered this in my last video. Um, new shoes, I can't wait. It's basically the description I gave, so leads me to my question of the week, which is, what do you do when Megan takes her question from your answer to a different question? No, not really. Um, my question for the week is, if you could meet anyone in history, who would it be? Um, mine would have to be Morris Yock, who is a New Zealand native who invented flip-flops in the 1950s. I would like to go up and grab him and give him the biggest hug ever. And be like, Morris, my man. Flip-flops, yeah. Severe addiction to flip-flops. He is my hero. Um, and to answer my question from last week with the whole animal thing, honestly, I would have to agree with Sophia, and Bob answered this way as well. I would have to be a cat. Um, I love cats. I love their stubbornness. Um, they're so just like poised and refined looking, and they just get to lay around all the time, and it's awesome. I would love to be a cat. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's about it. So I'm gonna go. And again, I'm sorry. My fellow equally awesome people, I will be back in full force in about two weeks. I promise, I promise, I promise. My school will be online so I can take a break and watch some YouTube and whatever, so don't worry. Um, yeah. Bye.